Welcome to the 42nd episode of the Can Learn Library here at the North Battleford Library. If you have some old books lying around that you want to repurpose, we can uh, use these books and make them into a, what's called a do-it-yourself painted book stack. If you look closely, you will see there's an imperfectness as you're watching the craft being done about this craft. So if it doesn't turn out quite perfect, that's okay. And that sounds like the kind of craft I should be doing. <laughs> okay, um, I guess you kind of let it go with the flow. All right, so these are the items that you will need to make this craft. Here's what you're going to need to make your do-it-yourself painted book stack. You're going to need three books or you can do it with two. It just depends on what kind of quotes you're going to want to put onto the side, the spines of your books. I've got two different chalk paints. I've got a chiffon cream and I've got a black that I'm going to be putting on the outer parts of the pages. I've got two sticks to stir with. I've got a couple of foam brushes. I've also got a stamp kit that I was able to find here in town and it's great because it has four different inks that I can do it with. Um, we'll also need some miscellaneous strings or um, whatever you kind of want to do if you've got ribbon, if you've got maybe some plastic leaves or something to to jazz it up with and to attach that to your book stack you're going to need your handy dandy glue gun and there's a little I've got a little bit of sandpaper which um, if you don't like the edges after you stamp um, you can just kind of take that off a little bit with the sandpaper all right ready to go okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply three coats of paint to your spines because as you can see you're going to want to cover up that embossed part of your spine so what's going to take the longest of this project is all the painting you have to do so what we're going to do first here i'm i'm going with my cream chiffon cream to paint and i've got my foam brush and I'm going to paint these spines give them each one coat and then let them dry till they're completely dry apply the second and apply a third so we'll just this part the spines won't take us very long it's more the drying that that takes the time okay so we'll just apply this on here and you'll see what I mean um, I'm not sure if you can see here, but you still can kind of see that that is green. All right, so I'm going to stand this one up and do the next one. And then we will have to play the waiting game because we have to apply two more coats yet. And don't worry if you mess up the inside of the book at all because you're not going to be opening these books. Um, they're going to be decorative. And um, so that makes it easy. All right. So we'll just kind of, see I kind of blurbed a little, but there we go. We're going to be covering that, the sides afterwards, but we'll, we want to make sure those spines are done well, so we'll let this first coat dry. I'm going to just cover up my brush so that I can come back in a little while and apply my second coat, my third coat. I won't make you watch me do that part, but then when we start doing the other parts, we'll start filming again. Okay, so remember, three coats. See you in a bit. Okay, I've put three coats on here and pretty much covered up most of my writing and I 
think it's going to make it easier for the stamp to show good on it. So now what we're going to do is paint the two sides. So I'm going to want to stand them up again, but I'll just give my paint a quick mix. And once I've done this first one, I'll just give you a look at what it is. These Reader's Digest books are uh, great. Um, we get a lot of them donated here and we can't put them into the system, but we can sell them or repurpose them like I'm doing here today. So I'll just get this first coat on here. So if you can see, I'm just as I can to the back side. Now this one it recommends that you use two coats but you'll kind of see uh, depending on what color you choose if you choose a darker color it might cover faster but sometimes like this cream color on this green definitely one coat is not going to to do it but if you were to use like a charcoal gray or something like that or even black <laughs> okay so now I've done this and I'm going to stand it up and let it dry I am going to do the other two and then I'll be back to do a second one uh, I won't film that part but then when I'm ready to do the next part we will definitely be filming again okay as you can see we've done the three books three coats on the spines two coats on the outer parts now what we're going to do is we're going to paint this edge here black and while I was thinking about it if you've got some kind of clamps because it didn't it didn't tell me to do that but um, uh, after I've painted it it's going to make it easier when I clamp this so that that can dry so I've got I've chosen to use black so I'm just mixing it up here make sure it's well mixed good thing I wore black today because if I get black on me, nobody's going to see it. All right, so now we're going to do the edges. I'm going to take my foam brush and just do the edges. Now it's not going to matter so much if I accidentally do get some and I've already see I got something on the side. Okay, so I'm going to just try to Get this as close as I can. Maybe I should have taken a smaller sponge. Hmm. Okay. So we'll just, I might have to use a little bit smaller just to get into that corner because you're gonna definitely want that edge. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of paint just to make sure I've got that done. Okay, there we go. Okay, I've got a little bit on the sides, but that's okay because we are going to not see that. So I'll set this down. The sponge is good for the big areas. Here we go. Okay. I think it's going to look nice with this cream. The black is going to offset it. So I think we'll be okay. I'm going to be able to only do one book at a time if I want to use those clamps. So maybe you might devise a better way to do it. 
That's what he just did at the last minute, kind of. How's that going to work? But then that's what crafting's all about. They don't always give you, in their ideas, um, how some of this is going to play out. So I'm going to take that little brush again and just kind of get it close to the edge. Okay, you able to see that? All right. So now I've got that as, I think it's as close as I can get. Now you're going to notice too, um, you might, after the black is done, you might want to touch up, if you can see it here, you might want to touch up the sides, like right here, because this will show through. Mind you, you're looking at the other end, but it just depends on how how you feel about it. If you want it more finished, that's up to you. Ugh, it's to get the clamps on. There. Now, I'm not sure how long this will take to dry, but I'm gonna at least try it an hour. Put those clamps on. See? She was right about how stiff they are. Hopefully I don't get black on my cream colored stuff. Okay, so I'm going to let that one dry, and then I'll come back and do the other two, and then we will be ready to, if you want to do, I might do the edges just so that it's more finished, and then the decorating begins. Okay, see you in a little bit. Now we've, we've got the black part painted, and that looks really nice with one coat, which is what I kind of liked, and this is a cream color. As you can see, it looks pretty pretty well filled in. Okay, so now comes the stamping part. So when you want to decide what quotes you're going to do, you got to remember how it's going to be looked at. So I'm going to want to put it so that my writing's over here. Um, but I recommend that you stamp each book separately and upright. I tried to do it when it was in this position and I found the stamping wasn't quite the same. What I'm going to use is Books Are Magic. And you can take your um, uh, stamps here and just kind of place it in front so that you kind of figure out, it'll all depend on the length of your books and the length of your quote. So here I've got Okay, I don't have two O's, but I guess I could do it with the little O just to show you what I kind of mean. Okay, let's see. Oh, I can get them out of the box. Okay, books. So that'll be my first one. So I'm gonna, if I wanna have it so that I'm gonna decorate this side and over the top, books looks like I need to start somewhere around there. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is go with the purple because it's a darker color and I think it'll show up really nicely. So I'm going to start with, okay I told you that, yeah, so i got to start this way. All right, so here we go with the books. And I've always got to make sure you check your stamp before you put it on because it just might not be in the right spot. And okay, I thought that was purple, but it's blue. And you can see that, so we'll do. Now for my O's, I need two of them. So depending on how far apart you want, Just do the K. And we've got our first word. So there is books. So I'm going to put it off to the side and we'll do the next one. So now I need an A. I should have gotten these out before we started, but R. 
Now I might want to bring that one in a little just because the words are, it's a shorter word. And it all depends on your sense of style here. If you want it to look just random or just, there's books are, okay. And we've got this one. So now we're gonna need an M. Let's see. M A G I and a C. Okay. So magic is five letters. And we've got the word magic. Okay, so let's put it together. Now you're ready for the glue gun part. So I'm going to just heat up my glue gun and get my other items ready and I'll be back to show you. Okay, I've found some jute that has a nice, it looks like kind of a ribbon and I kind of like the rustic look. And I found something in the dollar store that's actually kind of sticky. So I might not need the glue gun for that part, but we'll start. So I flipped, I have flipped my books. So they're at the bottom, because I'm gonna start, I want my gluing to start here. Um, oh yeah, this is going this way. All right, so let's do it with the glue gun, we'll just Long strip here and this is where you can get really creative all right so try to keep the three books together here um, you can try to tape the or glue it to the to the books pages so I'll try that maybe that'll make it stay better glue gun and it strands. It's always a struggle. There we go. I'll flip this over. So we're going this way. And go across this way. And hopefully your glue gun doesn't burn you too much like it likes to burn me. All right, so now we'll go back to the other, oh, ouch. Maybe not the glue gun, but the glue. Okay, so I'm going to try to glue these ones down to the pages here. Okay. Can, I'm not going to have enough to go all the way around again, so I'm going to just glue it a little bit here, and I'll have to cut my extra off, but of course I forgot my scissors. Okay, but we won't stop for that, we'll just put it like this. Now you can see that I've kind of got this towards the front, but you could have you could have it towards the back. It all depends how you want to decorate. So now I'm going to try with this sticky and see what happens here. So I'm going to take this off the plastic. This one seems to be a little longer. Okay. So now we're going to have to flip the book so we can start this way. And I don't know if you 
can see I'm coming around. I'm thinking I should have used the green the other way because I think it might be longer than. But I like this because I don't have to work with the glue gun. So I'm just going to put it on the back side. Going to meet up with the other one because it's long enough. Okay, I am just stop the camera here for a minute. Okay, I went and got some scissors. Okay, so I'm going to just try to make it meet up on the back side, but it doesn't matter so much because you're not going to be looking at this side. Oops. Okay. And we should be able to cut the other part here. Oop. I know that's stuck that way. I'll just put it under. There we go. That should hold it. Okay. Cut that off. Maybe I'll cut this part off because it might not so level to sit on. All right. So that is kind of how it is done. So that's the final project. You might find some prettier ribbons or prettier things to decorate. It's all up to you. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. And I hope you will try some of these. Make some different ones. I think they'd be something great to do uh, when we can get back together as a group or through Zoom to make these at home. And uh, the only part is the paint is a little bit time consuming waiting for it to dry. Well, thank you for watching this episode of the Can Learn Library. See you next time. Take care.